Palm Clementiev had to undergo a major transformation in order to portray the empath Mantis in the MCU, and it wasn't just a physical one. Her character has such a unique background and power set that Clementiev had to go through some serious mental effort to become the adorable alien we know and love. Actors who portray superheroes tend to have some pretty strict dietary rules in order to achieve the impressive physique they need. That is even more apparent when you factor in the ridiculous body standards that celebrity women must deal with. But Clementiev's diet is not as strict as you might think. She just changes it to suit her needs for whatever role she is currently playing. In an interview with Birdie, Clementiev discussed her upbringing and how her diet changes dependent on the current role she's playing. She explained, I grew up eating amazing homemade French food. Now if I tell myself I can't eat something, I'm just going to be obsessed with it, like bread. I love bread. For me, it's about quantity, balance. I eat a little bit of everything. I'm vegan in LA, but not in Europe. Tom Clementiev's first major Hollywood role was in Spike Lee's remake of Old Boy. She told Filler that she actually came prepared to show off her fighting skills during the audition for that film, and that she enjoyed her boxing and taekwondo training so much that she continued after filming Wrapped. It's easy to assume that may have had something to do with her getting cast in the action-heavy world of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Superhero Jacked writes that Clementiev does almost no traditional workouts. It's all practical stunt and fight training. This also helps prepare her for the rigors of long shooting days. She told Filler, I had to train three hours a day for two months. You are sore every day, and you're working on your soreness. Mantis isn't the heaviest hitter in the Guardians of the Galaxy or Avengers films, but maybe Clementiev's training and fighting and stunts will open her character up to some more action-heavy roles in future MCU films. Several stars of the Guardians of the Galaxy films need to spend hours in the makeup chair to achieve their alien looks. Karen Gillan knows it's not easy being blue. Dave Bautista's Drax is encased in prosthetics and intricate tattoos, and don't even get us started on how much fur they have to glue on Bradley Cooper. <laughs> That's a fake laugh. <laughs> it's real! Clementiev's Memphis is no exception, but she actually does not require quite as much time in the makeup chair as some of her co-stars. Clementiev typically spends about two and a half to three hours in makeup to play Mantis. That might sound crazy, but it's only about half the time that Zoe Saldana has to spend getting painted green to play Gamora. That's because of the combination of practical makeup effects and CGI that brings Mantis to life. Her look is created with a few basic prosthetics and, according to Metro, quote, a lot of beauty makeup. Apparently, one of the most difficult makeup challenges Clementia faces is keeping a straight face. She said of co-star Chris Pratt, It's hard to keep a straight face around him. I laughed so hard I was crying, and my makeup artist was kind of mad at me. Part of the struggle in making an audience care about alien characters is to make them just human enough to be relatable. I am Mantis. What are you doing? Smiling. Clementiev has recognized the difficulty and experimentation that went into making sure Mantis was slightly off-putting, but still someone you could empathize with and cheer for. She told Metro, We tried a lot of stuff. We tried different wigs. At some point, the makeup artist drew veins on my face, contact lenses. At some point, I looked really crazy, and then we decided to go for something a little more human. Black eyes that make me look like a bug, but at the same time, something you can still connect to. It was extremely important to get Mantis's eyes just right. People are able to learn a great deal about another's emotions and mental state by looking in their eyes. Despite going way out into left field for their initial shots at Mantis's makeup, the team eventually anchored her humanity through her eyes. Mantis has a very fascinating superpower, one that could be difficult to portray on screen. Her ability to feel and manipulate the emotions of others is pretty passive compared to her butt-kicking companions. But sadly, Clementiev is able to draw on several experiences from her real life in order to bring genuine pain and emotion to her character. Her father died when she was only five years old, while her mother was mentally ill and unable to care for her alone. She went on to live with her aunt and uncle not long after her father's death. The uncle who was caring for her died on her 18th birthday and her brother took his own life on her 25th birthday. She told the Philadelphia Inquirer that acting has helped her deal with the pain. It's life and shit could be worse. It's cathartic in a way. Sometimes you relive things and it helps you to deal with it. You relive it and become accepting of it, and you touch other people's hearts with your experience and performance. It's beautiful. 
She was able to channel some of the loneliness and abandonment she felt as a child into how her long, isolated and empathetic character would view the world around her. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.